Hello, this is Karen with the Bain Group, and we'll be looking at how you can add multiple languages to your Microsoft Forms. Here are some points we'll be covering. Add languages, translate form, review language groups responses. With multi-language support in Microsoft Forms, you can create a form or a survey in your own language, then allow your audience to respond in their preferred language. This is a great feature to have on your forum if you need to reach to a global audience or allow your users an ease of comfort to answer any question in their preferred language. So let's jump to a forum where I want to add a new language to. To begin by adding a new language to your forum, let's go to the top right and select on the more settings or the three ellipses. Then from here, select the multilingual. Then under the add additional language features, let's click add additional language. You can search for a language or scroll through the language list to find your selected language. On a single form, it could support up to 11 languages, including the one that is your primary language, which is shown above. So as you can see here, I'm going to add in Spanish to my form. And once you add it in your language, let's go ahead and hover over the pencil icon to edit our form. Here, we're now at another window of our Microsoft form. And as you can see here, we have some empty cell blocks that we need to add in to update our translation. By default, some of the answer text, as you can see, once I click through, they'll be translated automatically. But as for the questions or any other verbiage on your form, we need to manually update these. So here's a great chance to reach out to a colleague who specializes in this language or use a translation app or any other resource to get your form translated. For myself, I've reached out to my colleagues to help me update and translate this form. So I'm just going to fast forward and start copying and pasting the translation here. All right, once you've updated all the questions on your form and everything looks good to go, we can hit the back button. And to see this from a user's perspective, we can select the preview on the ribbon. Here you can see that by default, my form is showing in English, but from the drop down, I have the option to change it to French or to Spanish. And so once that has been set, you can then start beginning by sharing your form and then start reviewing the responses. As you can see with my form, I've already collected some responses and there's a great feature I want to share where you can see who have translated the form and to what language. Under each of the question, there is a more detailed link. And when you select on that, you'll see a language column to show you how each language group responded and what language that they responded to. So this is great when you also export this to an Excel file, you can see this language column um, inserted in your workbook. Thank you again for joining me in this tips and trick video. If you found this video helpful, please hit the subscribe button and we'll see you next time.